Welcome to Gaunt TV Plus. I am Marshall Bomo. Sudan, Old Crisis, New Challenges in Darfur. The humanitarian community in Darfur is shrinking, leaving hundreds of thousands of people in camps without adequate support. United Nations Humanitarian Chief Valerie Amos is visiting Sudan from 20 to May 23, 2013 to assess the situation in the region of Darfur, where the declining presence of humanitarian organizations has led to deteriorating services for the displaced population. Darfur has been facing a crisis for a decade, with the number of affected individuals steadily increasing over time. Currently, around 1.4 million people are receiving humanitarian assistance in almost 100 displacement camps scattered across Darfur. In 2013 alone, over 300,000 individuals have been forced to flee their homes. Many of these new arrivals seek refuge alongside those who have been living in the camps for nearly a decade. However, the conditions in many camps have worsened over the years as the number of organizations with expertise in providing essential services to camp residents has diminished. Several of these organizations, experienced in camp management, have ceased operations in Darfur due to funding shortages or bureaucratic challenges, making it extremely difficult to work in the region. Consequently, people in numerous camps are enduring desperately poor living conditions. Coming to the camps saved my life, says Hawa a mother of three who recently arrived in Kalma camp, near Niala, after fleeing conflict in the Lobato area of East Darfur. Although she received some initial aid like a tarpaulin, blanket, and jerry can, she is still awaiting her food ration and lacks access to a latrine. Nevertheless, she acknowledges that seeking shelter in the camp saved her life. Setu, a longtime resident of Kalma camp since 2004, highlights the deterioration of services in the camp compared to the past. Access to water has become much more challenging due to a reduced number of working water pumps, and the camp's population has significantly increased since several humanitarian agencies, including Oxfam, Save the Children, the International Rescue Committee, and the Norwegian Refugee Council, were expelled in 2009. Mark Kutz, Oche's head of office in Sudan, urges the humanitarian community to rethink its approach in supporting communities in Darfur. He emphasizes the need to strengthen capacity and address the urgent needs of the people in camps like Kalma and the over 1 million others facing similar situations throughout Darfur. A shift in focus towards building resilience among those affected by the conflict is necessary. Some NGOs have successfully used cash for work programs to both create much needed infrastructure and provide people with incomes, while also helping to repair fractures between different groups in the region. If you like the content, like, share, and subscribe to our page.